So, hi there, Driven by Moss 10.1 is out and there is a huge update to the Machine Mark 3 and also Micro Mark 3 included, which I'd like to show you now what is new. So the most important stuff now is you have a step sequencer for the drum mode as well as for the play mode. So I rearranged that, that you now can with these buttons, they actually do what they say. And I also tried this in other areas to follow more the way that you also use the machine software. So here I selected here a drum machine. So you absolutely should have to make the drum sequence and also the drum play work. You need to have a drum machine here you can also use it without but then you don't get the information about the grids for example if you turn that red you see now that uh, this one is, is is red so what do you do you select here your drum sound then you can go to the step so far it's empty because you also always need to create the clip so let's create a clip currently this is your macro still so we have a clip and now you see it's doing something and now we can go back so what did we select we go here so we select here the bass drum and then you can directly feel the sequencer you also can still play it here when the step is off you can also play and record here so let's turn here overdub off and we can do can use only the step sequencer so let's go with the snare so we have a snare and you can also have a bit of hi-hat here wherever you want it and yeah, what else can you do here? So if you go back to drum mode, so the drum mode is now here selected with that one. And if you turn off step, there is also a configuration page. And on the configuration page, you see you can change which notes you edit. So if I turn that here, you see it's moving here, the area which you select here, your drum cells. So let's keep it with that. If you press it again, this one goes off as well. Let's select that step. Uh, this is now a 16th grid, but you can also change the grid. You can do that here with the follow grid button. So grid changes that now. So you see it's 16, which is selected. And there you have all the different resolutions. So 132 you can also do, or you can have here the other resolutions as well. And you see also the number in the display. For example, if you go now with the um, with the thirds, you see that uh, length, and then you can also do 32s here, but maybe not with the drums. Let's do it with the, with the hi-hat instead. So let's do it like this. And you have also some 32s in there as well. You can also edit notes back to the drum as well. So let's select the snare and here we have a snare and uh, with a snare, let's also go back to 16th. With a snare, you see now you to edit notes, you need to press the events button. So the events button, you can now no longer delete uh, the note, but you can select it. So you can select it. And then also in the display, you see which note you have selected, what the note pitch is, and you have these six parameters for edit. So you can change, for example, you can change the length, you can change its velocity, the gain, and the panorama uh, of the node, the pitch and the pressure as well. So to pitch work, this is a Bitwig pitch and it, uh, I think it only works with Bitwig devices. So not with your VST. Pretty similar here for the keyboard. So if you go to the keyboard, let's maybe select here the other track. Let's turn off step. Uh, what I also changed here, it was a bit broken before because it was designed for an 8.8 .8 square, but it's actually only four. So now the currently selected scale layout is now sequential and I fixed that to work with four. So you have now a normal octave there and a normal scale if uh, you use that. If you press it twice, you get also here to the configuration here. You can change the scale, the base node, the layout, uh, if it's chromatic, or not and you can also transpose it up or down so that's also available and here it's the same the note you selected last is the one which is used here in the step sequencer but you also need to create a clip first so let's create a clip as well and then you can select any uh, any of the notes let's let's go with that one for example oh i already caught it nice uh, so let's turn off recording and then you can edit manually as well. You can select a different node.
Okay, so you get the idea. And also here you can enable event, you can select the node, and then you can also edit here uh, the node. Uh, let's try that. Here pitch is working, because it's a Bitwig device. Change, make it louder. Change the panorama. So that's all possible. I think you get the idea. What was also not working so far is uh, we have those nice texts here. So clear, quantize, nudge, copy and all that stuff. I didn't use that before because shift key is not working. But as I told you already last time, we have a stop button now as a shift one. So if you press the stop button, you can use these things. So you can transpose up and down by octave. Let's do that. So we can transpose up or down, even more down. And you can also transpose it here by semi nodes. Maybe let's select the clip so you can also see that here. So you can see that here we can move that up. And this works also nicely. So you can also clear that completely. So it's completely empty. You could then record something new. Let's turn off events. And transpose it down. And here you can also use the quantize 100% uh, and also the version with 50%. And let's stop that. And you can use the undo key and the redo key as well. Something I wanted to talk in the beginning, but I forgot about that. There is a little issue if you enter the MIDI mode and you do that after the start of Bitwig, for example, or you turn back, switch back to Machina and then go back into, into the MIDI mode, then it might have an incorrect state because when you're not in MIDI mode, it does not store the new state which is sent by Bitwig. So to fix that, I put that on a stop button. So if you press stop once, it also flushes the whole content. For example, let me show you that if you go outside here of the MIDI mode for example we turn here the volume to zero we go back to Machina it's still on the old value because everything is cached and only sent to the device when it's necessary just to keep the performance requirements low so if I press now stop you see it's back to the actual value and also the pads are updated and all these things so good to know so what else do we have? We have here another pad also supported. We also have the fixed velocity. I made this also a little bit nicer so you can turn on and off and fixed velocity. But you can also change the value which is used for fixed velocity. You can keep it pressed and then use here the encoder and then you can select the fixed velocity number you'd like to use when you play here the pads. Yeah, what I missed so far is the chords one. So let's go out of the keyboard. Maybe let's do another sound which makes a bit more sense. Yeah, let's go here in the browser, select one of the favorite devices. Why not Bazilla? Let's pick that. Here we go, Bazilla, and let's uh, pull our. What do you have? A pad maybe would be nice. Okay, so if you now enable now chords, it will put two thirds on top. Maybe let's transpose it up. So you can go here to keyboard and you can say we want to have that one up. Let's go up two. So it plays now the chord. And if you go to the second octave, it plays it downwards. So the first inversion. So we have now the basic chord and then here is also the the inversion, the first inversion of the chord. So it might be come in handy if you use here the auto key. This enables here auto for the arranger and you can combine it with the stop key. There you can also toggle it for the clip and the same is for lock. So lock does it here for the overdub mode and if you use it with stop, it uses the other one. You can also toggle that in the settings. So if you go to the settings, you can say here machine, where is it flip? arranger and clip record so if you turn that on then pressing it will throughout the stop will do that for the clip and if with a stop button combined it will do it for the arranger some other small changes so channel now inserts a new channel an instrument channel and if you do it with stop it will insert an 
audio channel. File has now only one feature, so if you press file once, it will directly bring up the save as dialog. And also change, which I think makes more sense instead of changing here the full page only goes by clip so you can now also navigate the clips by that and if you want to go the full page you combine it with a stop button ah, and then really nice little feature is you can now enable view meters so let's start the playback and let's turn up the drum machine again and uh, now you can enable view meters by pressing stop and the volume button and then you have some really funny fake volume V U meters going on if you edit scale we saw that before and also for note repeat you can have that now you can edit it now also here in the in the window and don't have to use the pad so it's also more visual to change that these were the changes here for the big one it's the same for the small one but there are some difference in usability so let's switch to that one so here we don't have the display so all the things happening in the display need to be controlled here a little bit differently so for example if you're here in the keyboard mode and press keyboard again to configure it. You don't have the configuration options in the display. You have it now here on the pad. So here you can toggle uh, the octave. Here you can change uh, your scale. Here you can change the base key of the scale. Here you can change the layout and here you can toggle the chromatic version. So if I go back, you are now then in chromatic mode. Same here for the drum mode. So let's select here the drum. Let's go to the drum mode. In the drum mode also if you press it twice you have also the configuration view which only has here a one feature which is transposing also the notes you play in that mode and what is also that's here the same scene and patterns but to change banks we also don't have that nice uh, button here which you can go left and right you need to keep that pressed and then turn the encoder to change here the bank same is for pattern and for these three this uh, changes then the bank of a uh, uh, let's create some i can show you and this changes then also the bank of the track so the track bank can be changed with that what else is different if we go here to variations so let's select the track here with the block in i change now the colors to the bit color so if you go here let's have a look at the polysynth you see these are the parameters currently edited and there you see which one is a green and the color and you have that directly then available and what is also new you see the selected one is blinking here in white so you get also a better idea which one is happening it's the volume and also you can stop that you can quickly change here also the pages you see also here the pages on the screen and if you add another device let's put here a chorus or something in there you can then also change here the devices with those buttons and here again you have the bags so that's here for editing and selecting the parameter editing then going on to here so that was the same as before so here you can select your track what is new is now the selected uh, track is blinking so you got a better idea which one is your selected track same is for solo so if you solo a track the solo tracks are blinking as well and also if you go to mute the muted tracks are also blinking here now not in white but in gray and what is also different if we go back to the first track for note editing so here you can also edit the notes so you have now the notes selected you see you can change again you can change the velocity here you can select panorama also press again for the duration then here we have the pitch and also the pressure so you can also edit here the six values as you have with the big version yeah woo lots of changes here in this new update basically a new implementation and i think it's much nicer to use and if you dig it make some funky music